Hello friends, this is Ali from Product Analytics Academy and today we're going to learn how to find the time between two events in Mixpanel. For example, let's say you work at YouTube and you want to see on average how long it takes a user to watch a video after they've signed up. For this example, we're going to use the media demo dataset that comes with every Mixpanel account for free, which you access by clicking sample datasets, choosing media, explore demo, and there we go. So we start by clicking reports and opening up a funnels report. Now remember the two actions that we wanted to find the time between was signing up and watching a video. So we add those in as our funnel steps. First we add sign up, then watching a video, and this quickly generates a funnel for us showing the drop off. But underneath the funnel, next to this little clock icon, we get the average time between the two steps, which here is 6.8 days. So there you go. That's how you find the average time between two events in Mixpanel. However, keep one thing in mind. This value shown over here is going to be based on your conversion window as well. So right now we're waiting 30 days for people to convert and then we're getting the average time for those people. So if I take this and instead of 30 days, I only give my users 30 minutes, then that number is going to drop. So now it's 205 seconds because now the maximum amount of time it can take a user to complete the funnel is 30 minutes. So this number can't be any more than that. And then there's a second way that you can find the time between two events that's much more comprehensive and it's just one step further. So when you have this funnel ready, just come over here and click on funnel steps, select time to convert. And now you see a distribution of all of your users and showing how long each of them took to complete the funnel. You can customize the distribution here. For example, if it's too granular right now, it's two minute buckets. I'm going to change this to 10 minute buckets. You can see the number in each. You can click on each of them and see all the users in that bucket or choose an option to zoom in further within 10 minutes and see the breakdown there. So there we go. That's a couple of easy ways to measure the time between two actions in Mixpanel. If you enjoyed this video and want to learn more about product analytics, check out the link in the description to a free course that teaches you how to set success metrics and KPIs for your product, which you can then use Mixpanel to measure and monitor.